by moving on my panicum frosted explosion into a tray with individual cells. This is a 40 cell tray. Now, if you start them off in one big tray like me, the best thing to do is have a little bowl, lift the whole tray out and put it into a container with a little bit of water in the bottom. And then that will stop the seedlings from wilting while you work. And then we will dig ourselves a nice big hole. You can see the tray is overflowing with compost. I'll give it a shake when I'm finished to get rid of any excess. So you dig a nice deep hole, get your seedling. And if you give it a little twiddle like that, then you can coax all of the roots into the hole without having to manhandle them. There we go. So once I'm finished this tray, I'm gonna give it a soaking from underneath that will hydrate the compost and settle it around the roots. Now, you've got plenty of stems here to pick for floristry and you wouldn't impact at all on the display in your garden. It's just such a good, easy filler for your beds and borders.